We all have to look ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves, how are we going to do our duty mm -hmm. in playing our small part in reviving this country? And, and as ridiculous as it might have sounded for, for a 37-year-old outsider guy like me to say it, I honestly believe it, especially when I think about reaching the next generation, reviving national pride amongst young Americans. Dude, I honestly think I'm I the best person you, to do it. Your pitch is strong, bro. It, I appreciate it, man. No, I'm serious. Like, it's hard to listen to you and not not be not be you're very charismatic you extremely convincing right thank you man i appreciate that and, and i'm just and, here's the other thing i will say though i want to be honest about this yeah. to, in respecting you know every every audience and every voter out there my job in this is i just want you all to know who i am and what i stand for all right if everybody in this country knows that and then say this isn't what they want i'm good with that yeah. right i'm fine with that i put my head on my pillow at night and sleep peacefully but the system is so rigged and broken that yeah. it is designed to stop you from knowing that right and so that's why i appreciate conversations like this one yeah you know, there's you know we well, take questions from the people online everything else that's good yeah. right we yeah. need more of that because the rest of it is designed to be filtered and rigged to stop you from knowing me or the other candidates in this race it's all distorted and if we can cut through that distortion and people don't want what i have to offer they want reform of a different kind rather than, you know, the revolution that I stand for. Fine. I'm cool with that. But I'm going to tell you what I stand for. Yeah. And if you guys put me there, that's what I'll get done. And I, and I think people are ready for a revolution.